Have you ever done a task or come across an activity that was just too difficult and you thought you couldn't do it? Or do you hate making mistakes and get embarrassed when you do? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and I'm a maths teacher. Now, I've noticed a few peculiar things lately. That is that some students believe that maths is all about right and wrong answers and that making mistakes is a bad thing. Also, that only some students can become good at maths whereas others can't. Well, I'm here to show you today that that's not the case. In fact, making mistakes and struggling in maths is one of the best things you can do in order to become good at it. Now in the brain we have these things called synapses. And these synapses fire when you're thinking deeply about something or learning something new. Now there's been a whole lot of scientific research done into how the brain works and also how these synapses work. And what the scientists have found is that when you're thinking deeply about something or learning something new, you actually have much more synaptic activity than what you would have if you're doing something that you already know and understand. So over time, as you're learning something new, you may find that you have to think really hard about the particular skill that you're trying to learn initially. Now what's happening here is that you have lots of synapses constantly firing and this is in order to create strong neural pathways within your brain. As you go through and you learn the skill you may find that it actually becomes easier over time, almost to the point where it's second nature. And that's because of these neural pathways that your brain has developed so that less synapses need to fire and you don't even need to think about the skill that you're doing anymore. Now the key here is that initial struggle and making mistakes early on actually helps to develop these neural pathways and is the most important part of the learning process. So if you find yourself doing an activity that you're not struggling with or making mistakes early on, then you may find that the activity is actually too easy and you're not getting as much out of the learning process as you possibly could. What I would like you to do is have a think back to when you learned how to ride a bike. Now some of you probably struggled initially and possibly some of you still do, and that's okay too. It's because this initial struggle and making mistakes early actually helps you out with learning how to ride a bike in the long run. What's happening in this initial phase is you have lots of synapses firing within your brain in order to form these strong neural pathways that I talked about before. What happens from here is that eventually you just start to learn how to ride the bike and it starts to become second nature because you're not having to think about it due to these neural pathways. So what does this mean? Well, it's the persistence when you're initially struggling and making mistakes early on that has actually allowed you to learn how to ride a bike. And here's the secret. Learning maths is exactly the same. Let's summarize what we've learned with a quick activity. To do this activity, you'll need a blank piece of paper or your teacher might be able to give you a picture of a brain, just like you can see here. From this point, what I'd like you to do is simply write down three negative emotions that you get when you make a mistake, just like what I've done in this example here. Once you've done that, you need to scrunch up your piece of paper nice and tight. We wanna like get rid of those negative emotions so you can get a little punch there, now once you've squished up your piece of paper really tight, as you can see here in this little ball, what I'd like you to do is open the piece of paper back up so we can release these negative emotions and get them as far away from us as possible. So simply open it up like you can see here, and if you've squished it up tight, you're gonna find it a little bit challenging at first to open up, but that's all right. Here we go. So you can see here, I've opened it up and these negative emotions are kind of escaping from the page. What you now need to do is grab either a pen or a pencil and simply look for all of these creases and start drawing lines along them as fast as you possibly can. And try and see how many you can do over the space of a minute. Now as you can see, you've got lots of different lines going off in a range of different directions. And these lines or creases represent the neural pathways that develop in your brain when you make mistakes or when you struggle initially. Without these neural pathways, learning can't occur. So as you can see, it's really important to make mistakes and struggle initially. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also if you're a teacher, make sure you check out the teacher edition of this video, which shows you how you can take this activity even further. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.